Welcome back, family. I hope you guys are doing well. I know some of us aren't today, some of us are, but today we are going to discuss rashes. Um, I purposely put on this shirt so I could show you the rashes that I experience. Um, but I have more than one. So, I mean, I have actually both strains of Bartonella and Lord only knows how many more that they don't test for yet. So, we're going to just discuss some rashes and things along those lines. And there are two books of this um, by James Shaler, Bartonella Diagnosis and Treatment. This book could save your life. It's an okay book. I, you know, it's not bad. Um, Lyme disease, a cruel cousin, you know, it, it does touch topics and stuff. But the books are really good as far as, like, all the different kinds of rashes that you get. Now, when I was going to the doctor back ooh, three years ago, I was seeing a different doctor. Uh, he noticed that I had what looked like tiny little spots that looked like liver spots, like I had two of them on my back. And he asked me, his first question was, is, how much do you drink? I'm like, drink? <laughs> What's that? I haven't drank in years because, well, let's face it, and that was only socially. When you have this, you don't drink. Um, for the most part, you know, it, you feel worse when you do drink. So I said, hardly any. I mean, maybe once a year I might have one glass of wine. That's it. And he couldn't understand. He says, well, these are like liver spots. And I'm like, what do you want? I'm not lying to you. I mean, I, I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I feel bad enough. I don't need to enhance that. So... At any rate, uh, that was one of the things that I got. Um, another thing that I ended up with are these like little tiny bumps, real tiny, tiny, tiny ones that seem to be like on the back sides of the arms, my back. I get itchy a lot. I mean, we always itch, obviously, because of our nerve endings. But yeah, but this was the number one thing, and this is what I got first. And what I'm going to do is I brought a bottle of lotion in so I can... Rub it on my arms and show you because it's not really showing up very well. Um, I'm putting it on so you can see a little bit better. I may have to adjust this camera just a little bit or I may have to come up to you. All right. Now, these are like red spots. They don't stand out. They're under the skin. And I have this all up and down my arms, from my elbow to my shoulders. And it's on both sides. It just shows more on my right side for some reason. And many a times people ask, you know, well, what's wrong with you? Do you, you know, do you have, uh... they always think that I have eczema. Even the doctors that had looked at me thought, you know, well, that looks like eczema. And then they take a closer look, and it's not eczema. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, well, it's not really showing up well here. But underneath the skin, there's these little red marks that are there, and they just never go away. And when I first started feeling ill, I had them on my face, and I had one particularly, like, right here on the bridge of my nose. People always thought that I wore glasses, and they would say, oh, do you wear glasses? It's like nothing like letting me know I have a red spot right on the bridge of my nose, and back then I didn't. I said, no. <laughs> so, you know, the little red spots, little marks. Another thing that a lot of us have are spider marks. Even people that aren't overweight, we end up with these spider marks. It's almost like our skin becomes, like, transparent. Um, and like my legs, of course I've had kids, so, I mean, it's common for us to have, you know, varicose veins and things like that, but we're talking about people that are tiny, that are little, um, and of course, you know, weight isn't the reason behind these spider marks, it's underlying under the skin, and these are red spider marks. We also get varicose veins, which are more on the purpley side of things. Too. And uh, 
My son has him, and he's lucky if he goes 100 pounds, and he's like 5'8". He's a tiny little thing. Now, he also, I believe, has Bartonella, but I'm not sure. The number one symptom is the stretch marks, which everybody knows. You know, stretch marks usually come with people that are heavier, but not people that barely have any skin over the, you know, any flesh over their bones like my son. Where does it come from? It comes from Bartonella, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, there are a lot of skin issues with Bartonella and a lot of us also get stuff on our faces. Um, I don't know. I'll see if I can do like a side view. If I can get up close enough to the camera. Now, when I'm having a flare up or if I get overheated, I get red blotches down here. Like lupus people tend to have the butterfly rash that goes across here. I seem to have it more towards the bottom of the cheeks. And I'll see if I can zoom in. If I can't really zoom in well enough on camera for you guys, I will take pictures. Um, let me put some lotion on. Dampen my skin a little bit here. I am going to pause this video and come back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. No, that's not going to work either. I was going to put a bright flash on so you could see. But you'll see that these tiny little veins are all like in here, in here, down in here. I don't know if you were able to see that or if you weren't. But yeah, you know, it, it is par for the course with Bartonella. And, of course, then again, we all know that there are autoimmune diseases that we can get with Bartonella that add to the skin issues. Like with myself, I have hypothyroidism. I did test positive for a band for lupus, but they said that it didn't look as though, as, as though I had lupus. So, I don't know. You know, it seems to me if you test positive for a band of something and no other disease has that band, that it should be a little flag, a red flag raised there saying, you know, <laughs> obviously they have it. They may not be like Lyme disease, the CDC, you've got to have five bands. But who knows? So at any rate, yeah, if, you know, you have different kinds of rashes and spider marks and... The redness and stuff and all that that I've got right there, you know, and I'm not having a flare-up right at the moment, so you can't see it. But it is typical to have all different kinds of stuff. And there's part two of this book, which I'm loaning out right now. Um, once again, look into this. It's James Scheller, the MD there, Bartonella Diagnosis and Treatment. <clears throat> this book could save your life. It goes on about heart attacks, rage, fatigue, agitation, brain fog, migraines, bipolar disorder, rigidity, addictions, personality change, which we all end up with a personality change, don't we? Uh, obesity, depression, eye problems, unusual edema, memory loss, Lyme disease's cruel cousin found in ticks, fleas, pet saliva, lice, and dust mites. And this was the full color edition, and this is just part one. They have a part two that's a little bit thicker. But in this book, you'll see all the different marks that people have, the different kinds of rashes that we get. A lot of times, like if I'm swimming, for example, you can pick a Bartonella person out right away. When they get out of the water, I think people with obesity also have it. You'll see like all the veins. They'll look like reddish underneath, really white skin. That's another common symptom. Um, these funny little marks, you know, it, it just touches base with all different kinds of things that you could possibly have. Moles, um, stuff with our feet, what to look for, to notice if you have it. Which, obviously, that is the number one thing, you know, when you get up in the morning and your feet hurt. Oh, chicken wire skin, that, that's a real good one, too. You know, that that's what I think that that's called, but I could be wrong. Who knows, but... Yeah, just really strange marks and stuff, your skin. And I always had like flawless skin. Now I have transparent skin and you can see everything under it. 
any rate, if you get a chance to check this out, uh, go online. You know, who needs a new book? Buy a used one if you have to. Go to Amazon, eBay, get a good price. They're really good. Um, maybe not my favorite book on the subjects, but it, it's definitely up there if, you know, you want to look up different things and stuff. So, at any rate, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Bartonella. I hope that everybody's doing well. And nobody is destroying your personality for the day because we have it hard enough. All right, go on down below. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell so you get my videos every time you get a notice for it on your phone or your computer. So you know that I updated one. Uh, feel free to please, please, please let us know what kind of skin issues that you have. You know, um, we really need to learn from each other, guys. Like I say in all the videos, the more... We hear from other people and hear their stories. We can start putting more together because let's face it, we are better than the doctors because we experience it and live it every day. All right, thanks again for watching.